What's up all you cool cats and kittens? It is Offbeat back with another episode of BTB and this week I'm talking about my track Modern Man. Now as usual you guys have left some banging comments. I'm going to chuck a few up on the screen right now. Thank you very very much. You know I appreciate them and please keep them coming. So Modern Man is a bit of a change of tone from the last few tracks on the album. The last three or four have been quite serious ones. This one is definitely more of an upbeat, light-hearted comedy track and it's basically just about me and my total ineptitude when it comes to basically anything physical. So anything practical like DIY or sport or anything that is traditionally labelled as real man stuff. That is not my bag and that is exactly what this track is about. Well, like most of my songs, the idea came from just real life experience and there are countless examples of me being awful at this sort of stuff. And what's so funny is that my dad actually used to be a set builder back in the day. So he used to physically build sets for advertising companies to shoot commercials. And like when I was a kid, he used to make me toys and he'd always do like mad DIY stuff. Like he built loads of the furniture in our house from scratch. Um, and comparatively, I am absolutely useless. Like I can't even nail something into a wall straight without the nail bending and me like smacking my thumb. But on the flip side, I'm pretty good with like computers and anything like digital and technology based and he's useless at that sort of stuff. So it made me just laugh because there's that big contrast between the older generation and the more modern generation. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat where they're not very good at the practical stuff and they are good at the more modern stuff. The thing that probably sparked the idea was the story that I tell in verse three about my car breaking down. And that genuinely happened. I was driving to work and I got a flat tire. Uh, I had to call a guy out and genuinely uh, he asked if I had a spare tire and I said no. And then he lifted up the flap in the boot of the car and there was one there. Uh, and then they charged me an obscene amount of money and I had no idea whether that was reasonable or not because I just don't know how much this sort of stuff costs. So it was at that point where I was just like, this seems to happen a lot. I think this could maybe be a song, there's something in this. So that is where the idea actually came from. But as I say, there are just limitless examples of that happening in real life and I thought it would be a funny story. So I have got lots of favourite lyrics in this track and this one is slightly different to my normal songs in that usually when it comes to the chorus I've just got the same chorus that I repeat each time. This one, every couple of lines is like a little different mini story and I like lots of those like being put in a headlock and being beaten with my own shoe, like not knowing the difference between uh, a football court and a tennis pitch, that sort of thing. I, I, like, I like lots of those, but I think if I had to pick one, my favourite would be the one about me building a set of flat pack drawers where I say, but even though they're crooked, I'm still grinning with pride till I realise I put the handles on the inside. And the reason I like that one in particular is because, like everything else, that is based on a true story, but it wasn't actually me that did that with the handle. I was helping my mum build a set of flat pack drawers um, and she was putting the handles on and I turned around and she had actually screwed the handle onto the inside of the drawer. So not only is that a particularly funny mental image, I think, but it's also a sly dig at my mum. So that one holds particular resonance for me and I wanted to include it. Sorry, mum. So like I say, even though I'm useless at the more like traditional real man practical stuff, I am pretty good at like more modern digital technology based stuff and my dad is useless at that. Um, and I've got loads of examples of him saying and doing hilarious things when it comes to that. And I am thinking about doing a sequel to this called like Ancient Man or just Old Man because that means dad as well. But yeah, there are loads of examples. One of my favourites is recently he started texting and he doesn't quite understand like LOL. Uh, and he thought that it stood for lots of love, which was quite sweet and funny to begin with when he was like just signing off his text like lol, dad but like not so much when something serious happens and he goes, oh my God, I've just heard the news. I hope everything's okay, lol. Cool, so that pretty much wraps it up for this week of Behind the Bars. I hope you enjoyed it, it's short but sweet. It's not a particularly deep song, just a little bit of a funny one, a bit of a laugh at my expense. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you a modern man? Does this song resonate with you? Or are you more of a traditional, maybe older, more ancient style man? Or are you that rare hybrid that can actually do both? If so, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think of the sequel idea as well. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I will catch you soon and take it easy. Peace.